spritz a place. What can I do for you, Ron? Oh, um, uh, a lava, please. Very strange, you'll be coming I'll come in right up. Leave it to her and you'll be there all day. Oh, I'll have a whole serving in. You'd probably spill it or something. Can I drink, please? You better serve her. She's obviously in a hurry. I see you want to get you. Just doesn't make some peace. Oh, yeah. Well, you could also buy it over tip if you like. Hi, right. oh, Sam. You all right? Here's a pint, please, darling. All right. We've got some lovely lunches today. Yeah? What's that, then? Got chicken in a basket. You had that yesterday. Well, I'll make you a sandwich or something if you like. That's all. I'll just have a roll. <sighs> Get some popcorn tonic, will you, love? Huh? Been all over, I am. Or spending all your money. The landlady needs to look her best. <laughs> Listen, I'll be back in a sec, all right? Do you know David used to be the star of my football team? I'm not surprised. You sound a bit keen. I suppose I am, really. It's nice to see you take an interest in someone more mature for once. He's not that old, Mum. You don't have to be old to be mature. Anyway, if you want him, my girl, I reckon you'll have no trouble in getting him. Do you think so? I know the signs when I see him. Right, I'd be off. I'll stay for another drink. No, I wish I could. Now I'll go on then, as long as you promise to serve me. I promise. What are you, lot blind? What's the matter? Look at this stuff, it's forged. Can't be. It is. How do you know? I just do the queen that wear that much mascara. You're right, you know. How do they get in there? I don't know. I want us all to be on the lookout from now on. I don't want any more of that stuff getting in the till, you got it? So does that mean we've got to check every now anyone gives us? Twice over. The punters won't like that. They'll think it's downright rude. Yeah, well, that's their problem. And where's Sam? She should be listening to this. What's this, a staff meeting? Hi. You knew me? Yeah, sort of. I've been in Spain for a little while. Yeah? I've been there. Yeah, what part? In Orca. I'll uh, have to show you my snapshots. Well, I hope they're not rude, because I know what you boys get up to on holidays. What's that, then? Will you tell me? All right. Time to finish. Well, you come in here, you come in at the drink. You got it? Grant! Well, did you see the way she was behaving? She's asking for trouble. Do you want people to drink in your pub, or don't you? They come in here anyway. You don't have to advertise. Uh, sorry about this, love. Have one on the ass. Yeah, I've got a brother like that. What, you have? Yeah. I have protective, and they think they own you. <laughs> Cheers. So, you had any duds yet? So, no, I ain't bothered checking. Ah, oh, no, me neither. Look, if you ask me, flirting with the punters never did anybody any harm. Yeah, well, Grant obviously don't think so. I'll forget about him. He's just playing the big brother. I've got better words for him. Cause you should have seen my brother when I dyed my hair blonde once. He said I looked like a mutated Marilyn Monroe. He went mad. Made me dye it back to black straight away. Nearly you ruined me hair. You don't like blondes then? That's the thing. Anybody else does it and it's all right. Yeah, but Grant shouldn't have spoken to me like that in front of everybody. Forget it. Ain't even worth thinking about it. Tell you what, though, we could have had a right crack in here, eh? Had those punters licking our boots. You'd love it, you, didn't you, all the attention? It ain't real, you know. Yeah, I know. It just makes the job more bearable sometimes, doesn't it? Why are you bored? Ain't you. That's your drink? What, you're gonna buy me a drink? Oh, Grant is. Well, it's not exactly chocker, is it? Got to do something to get through this shift. Oh, here you go. Cheers. <laughs> Mind, there you go. Watch how you wobble. Do you have another one for the road? Yeah, don't mind if I do. All right. What's going on? We're having our own lock-in. Says who? Says us. <laughs> Time to go home. We're having a drink, Grant. The pub's closed. Night-night. Aww, you don't fancy tucking me in, do you? Out. See you tomorrow, Sam. Bye, right, Tiff. Bye. <laughs> Maybe you should lay off the freebies for a bit. Look, I'm only thinking about it. I need some fresh air. Nice day for it. Is it? Oh, blimey, you look rough. I had one too many last night. When well, you're paying for it now, are you? Oh, not much. I feel terrible. Did I ever tell you I've got the perfect cure for an hangover? I'll bet you have. No, no, no. Seriously, I have. What is it, then? It's red. It's fast. It's open top and it's sitting over in my forecourt. I'm taking it for a spin later. Do you want to join me? 
and that will cure my hangover. Well, if it doesn't, we'll just have to find something else, won't we? <laughs> After you, madam. Is this yours? Uh huh. One a minute. Right. First things first. But what's all this? Test drive. Doesn't need the two of you. Better balance, mother. Right, let's go. Oh. The temperamental, this one. That's it. My head feels better already. You ain't seen nothing yet. Solicitors are yours. They won't be too expensive, will they? Are you sure? Roy, somebody's just come in. I've got to go. No, no, I'll, I'll call you back later. Yeah, yours. Bye. Don't mind me, Peg. Didn't have to cut off your call. No, I should be working, love. What can I do for you? Well, I was looking for David. Uh, he said he'd give me a driving lesson. Oh, did he? Well, I'm a bit later than I should have been. I slept in. <laughs> Wish I could. <laughs> Where is he then? I always think he, um, he had to go out on business. Oh, I didn't think he had much on today. No. No, he came out of the blue, love. An happy customer. Oh, will he be long? Don't know. He could be gone ages, yeah. Would you mind if I wait? Well, he could be gone ages. And then there's loads of things to sort out here. I might as well hang about here. I ain't got much else to do. Fair enough. You, uh, you heard from your mum yet? No, they ain't gonna worry about me. They're probably too busy having a good time. Sorry, Bianca, I didn't know it was gonna be this long. Well, I might get off now, anyway. Were you telling my came round? Yeah, of course I was. I saw David Wicks earlier. He flying around the square with Sam Mitchell. He's got it made on it. It was rediscovered by a Swiss explorer less than 200 years ago. Hmm. Good thing I've got the headache now. Test drive went on a bit longer than expected, Mum. I'll say. Car's a cracker, though, isn't it? Yeah, with my mum myself. Why don't you chat to your mum then? See if she'll buy it for you. Thanks for the drive. I feel a lot better now. Any time, darling. Listen, um, coming over the Vic later? Yeah, I might do, yeah. There could be a drink in it for you. Well, there's an offer I can't refuse. I'll see you around then, yeah? I'm sure you will. Something's bothering your mother. You tell me. Well, I've got to take the cars out for a drive, haven't I? It's all part of the job. Are you completely stupid? Eh? Hey? How many more times do I have to tell you? You can't mess Bianca around like this. What's she got to do with anything? She came over here looking for you. You're supposed to take her out for a drive. I forgot. Other things on your mind, more like. Well, there's plenty of other times I can take her out for a spin. Worry. She left her hating you, David, all over again. Then we're going to be back crying on my shoulder. Did I ever? You're bang out of order, young man. You trick Bianca right, or you'll lose her for good. You. You weren't exactly the greatest parent in the world. Then you should know exactly how Bianca feels, shouldn't you? Ah, uh, look, Ricky's going away for a day or so. Perhaps that'll give you a chance for a bit of space and get your priorities right. Where's he off to then? He's taking Janine to their sisters. He's going to stay over for a night, try and clear his head. <laughs> Take all the five seconds. Something in his head. That makes two of you then, doesn't it? Look at him, he's got a lovely smile. Mm. Okay. Not even a nice smile, though. <laughs> Pull that away, you two, and get on with it. Good night. David Wicks took me for a drive in his car this afternoon. Mm, and? And what? Did he keep his hands on the wheel? What do you want to know for? Well, at least one of us is getting some excitement around here, eh? I bet you wish you'd met David before you married Ricky. Yeah, that's true. I suppose Ricky can't help being boring, but I suppose some people are, some people ain't, eh? 
You really think he's that bad? Put it this way. If I had a choice between dating Ricky and a pot plant, I know which one I'd go for. Yeah, at least a plant wouldn't spend all night talking about cars. <laughs> so what was he like in bed? To tell the truth, I can't really remember. I bet he never even took his overalls off. <laughs> Well, I'll talk to my bloke and put him off for a couple of days. Uh, no, 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 there's no problem. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. All right, OK, mate. Ta-da. Hiya. So what happened to you, then? Didn't Mum tell you? I had to, uh, had to take someone out on a test drive. Oh, someone more important than me? No, 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 it was a punter. I couldn't get out of it. You could at least let me know. So I'll make it up to you. We'll do double next time, yeah? What about tonight, then? Uh, not tonight, darling. I've got to go up to Cambridge tonight. I won't be back till the morning. If you don't want to teach me, just say so. I do, sweetheart. How many more times have I got to tell you? It's just... Things are a bit hectic at the minute, that's all. What about tomorrow? How many times have we heard that and all? Look, you sure you can spare the time? Oh, well, don't be like that. Come on. Tomorrow, I promise. What about 11 o'clock? There was on wheels. Kenny, how you doing, mate? No, I was just going to pick up the phone. I spoke to the guy not five minutes ago. Right, listen, Friday, it should be fine. Uh, if not, Saturday at the latest. Maybe we should get one of the machines that you slide notes under. Mm. Oh, they're useless. I mean, all you've got to do is spray the notes with furniture polish. I read it somewhere. Well, we've got to do something. I know, I'm running a pub or play Monopoly. We could write people's names on them. What? When the people give us the money, we write their names on them, then we know who give us what. Yeah, and just in case I gave us a false name, you could always keep a little instamatic behind the bar and stick a photograph on the stuff as well. It's only an idea. Well, we'll just have to make sure that we check every note, that's all. Well, well I have been. But it still winds up until somewhere, ain't they? Oh, yeah. Now, that's what I call service. Well, what can I get you? I'll have a scorch, please, Sam. Just taking you a quick one, are you? Well, a quick tea break, anyway, without the tea, if you know what I mean. Tiffany, customer. Oh, we've been talking about all that funny money that's floating around. Well, it's a problem, isn't it, Peggy? I mean, you're bound to get a few dodgy characters in now and again. You haven't had any trouble, then? No, not yet, touch wood. There you go. Cheers, my darling. Can I get you anything else? One for yourself. Oh, cheers, let me know, Peggy, can I take you with a little sign? Oh, you can tempt me with anything you like. Mum! <laughs> How about a drink for now? <laughs> oh, go on, then. I'll have a little drop of brandy in there. Uh, Tiffany? Can I have a Coke, thanks? A little bit flush, are we? No, no, just, uh, just happy to find myself at the company of the three best-looking women in Wolford. That's all. I'm just going to check the cars, Z, see if anybody's thrown up. Something I said? Don't take the notice. He's just jealous. Yeah. Right, well, cheers. Oh, cheers. God bless. I really enjoyed myself yesterday. Yeah, not bad for an older. Uh, that's the car, by the way, not me. I liked it. Can't wait till next time. Uh, listen, there's a there's a club opening up town on Thursday. Gangsters. Yeah, I know. Tiff told me about it. Do you fancy going? It's invitation only the first night, though. It's already sorted, my darling. I know the apartment. Brilliant. Mm. So you fancy it? Yeah, of course. But what about Phil and Grant? They're going mad. You leave them to me. What are you going to say to them? Nothing. You want or what? Yeah, of course. All right. See you later. You're up, love. Uh, yeah, in a minute. Uh, just wanted to have a quick word. Of course. It's about Sam. Sam? What about her? Uh, well, I'm just thinking, you know, it must be hard for her coming back here and not having her old mates around anymore. Yeah, I thought that myself. But she doesn't seem that bothered about going out and meeting someone. Well, I can't say I blame her. A pretty girl like that, going out on her own. No. And it must be hard for her seeing Ricky around, you know, going out with someone else, like. Oh. She's all right about him. I just think it's a shame, that's all. You know, she's stuck in here all the time when everyone else is going out and enjoying themselves. Hello, poor love. So, uh, I was, uh, I was thinking maybe I could take her out. You know, get her back in the swing of things. You? Yeah. Well, I'm a bit older than her, but we, we get on really well. And I would treat her right. I would take no liberties with her. Oh, I don't doubt that for a minute. I just thought I'd ask you, Peggy, just to make sure you had no objections, you know. Blimey, that takes me back a few years. Bloke's asking the parents if they could take the daughter out. <laughs> well, I know it's a bit old-fashioned, but I do like things done the right way. Well, I think it's lovely. And as far as I'm concerned, you can take Sam out whenever you want, with my blessing. Oh, that's great. That time she had a decent bloke, someone to treat her properly. I'll do my best. <laughs> Mum, if he's trying to sell you a motor, I wouldn't bother. He'd be lucky if he gets as far as George Street. Oh, listen to him, Mr. Appy. 
As a matter of fact, David just been asking me if he could take Sam out. What? And your mum's just been kind enough to give me a blessing. I think they make a lovely couple, don't you? Yeah, you know, it's the apartment, so we've got the tickets. What, for opening now? Yeah. You, Jeremy, care. Or you too. There's people need serving. Don't you just love it when he's being masterful? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Why not? <laughs> Yeah, Where have you two been? Where do you think? You do ask to look our best behind the bar, don't you? Any chance of getting a drink round here? It's all right, I'll do. I suppose you think you're clever. As a matter of a fact, yeah, I do. All right. It's nothing. That Tiffany Bird's warning me up. Back up. Just get really pally with Sam. So? So she's bad news. I don't want Sam hanging around with you. What is it with you? I mean, first of all, it's David Wicks, and now it's Tiffany. You can't wrap Sam up in Carl Moore, you know. She's a big girl now. We left her to her own devices in Spain, and she ended up shacked up the junkie. There's nothing you can do about that. Any more you can do anything about it, she hangs around with over here. We'll see. Right, most of the glass are clear, so those ones are left. Well, you can go up if you want me and Tiffany can manage. You sure. Yeah. Oh, cheers. Night, too. Night. I'm all finished. Time if I go now? I want a word first. Oh, dear. In trouble again, am I? Just go and get your coat. Do you mind freshen up first, are you? I hate being told off and I look a mess. So, you're going to sack me then? I don't want you hanging around, Sam. Sam? What, you think I'm leaving her astray or something? Yeah, that's exactly what I think. Well, I think that Sam's old enough to make her own mind up, don't you? Yeah, and I think you're a spoiled little brat, and it's about time someone taught you a lesson. Oh, and you think that you're the man to do it, dear? If I have to. Oh, I can't wait. Well, what's up? Big Grant Mitchell lost his bottle. 